Hi, it's me, Alex, the stay-at-home reader. Um, I want to share with you and kind of organize for myself my reading plans for the spring. At this point, March is halfway through, so making a March TBR doesn't really make sense. I've got book clubs. Uh, books have been chosen for the next few months. And then um, I want to read off of the women's prize list. So I'll show you what I have in my possession currently. And I have a little vacation coming up. So first of all, I have taken a break. And March would have been the perfect time to get back into it because it's March of the Mammoths. But I haven't made any more progress in Duck's Newburyport um, since... I don't remember. I don't remember if I read it in February at all. I don't think I did. I think I got this far in January. And that was it. Um... Yeah, because it's so stream of consciousness, it doesn't feel like something that I have to finish. It just feels like an experience. And because of that, I think I was able to kind of put it aside and read other books. But I don't want to give up on it. Um, there is a story in there. And it's not a plotty, but there is story. You are getting character development in this one giant, one giant run-on sentence, which is hyperbole. There is breaks where you get, um, like a more traditional writing style following a mountain lion, but it's just this mind of a housewife as she's thinking about something and doing something and that makes her think about something else and it's just a list of thoughts this the majority like 99 percent of this is just a list of her thoughts um so it's it's also weird to like pause in this book because there's no look at it it's just solid so like where did i where did i stop i don't even know um so I'll just pick a random part on the page and be like, yeah, okay, this sounds, I think I read these random words. Anyway, um, so I want to continue reading that. Uh, I picked these two books off of my TBR cart where I um, set aside 26 books that I want to read in the year, one for each letter of the alphabet. So for Y, I have the year of the hair. I'm not reading them in any order, just randomly picking year of the hair and I have like water for chocolate um I don't know why this one I picked for spring I think just the color of the book being like kind of pastel-y um and this one because hair seems like a spring symbol so I picked those as my also because they're short and my TBR cart is also something that I've kind of been ignoring accidentally since I set it up so let me go ahead and at least get two finished off of those books I set aside and they are on the smaller side um let's talk book club my book club read for March is Pines by Blake Crouch. Not very excited to read this if I'm totally honest, but I have been pleasantly surprised by book club choices before and that's kind of the point of the book club is to push myself outside my comfort zone. Um, I think this is a small town thriller. I don't know if there's anything speculative to it. I feel like there might be. Um, but I, I'm just going to go in blind. I've never read Blake Crouch before. I think they tend to be a little sci-fi speculative. Let me know. 
Um, so that's March. April's read is Writers and Lovers by Lily King, which I have read before a few years ago. And I, I think this was a five star or maybe a four star read. So I'm excited to revisit it. I remember very much relating to the character when I read it a few years ago. Um, uh, just her being an adult and having to learn how to adult. And I really connected with that. Um, that was the April choice. Yeah. May's selection was Cersei by Madeline Miller. Which I do not own. So I'm probably going to go ahead and buy that. I do have a Barnes & Noble gift card that I've been holding on to from Christmas. I will probably go ahead and buy Cersei to read for May's book club. But I do have The Song of Achilles, which has been sitting on my TBR shelf for years on red. So before I buy Cersei, I have to do this one. Um, there is audiobook available. That might help. And then also for May, what my book club will do is kind of like quarterly have like a big chunky book. So in addition to our monthly, you know, normal size books, there will be one book picked like well in advance for you to get a head start on and read little by little. And for May, that book is Dune. Shh, chunky. Um... I really should have started this by now because I'm so intimidated and I think this is going to take me a while. Um, so I want to start this soon. And my plan was to start this like beginning of March again for March of the Mammoths, but the women's prize was announced and I, I'm not one to be up on new releases. So I wasn't familiar with any of the books, was able to grab a few from my library. Um, some more are available on Scribd. I've already, or ever and, I already listened to Western Lane by Chetna Maru, was that her name? Listen to that on audio, Scribd, ever and. Um, I'm going to call it Scribd because I like that better. And I don't like change. I didn't love that book. Um, and then I was listening to Enter Ghost, having a hard time relating to that book. So it was available at the library. I picked it up. Um, and that has helped me. I had gotten through about half of the audiobook. And now I have just this little bit, two chapters left to finish it. This um, is a story that takes place in Palestine. And... Um, this was published in April of 2023, and I don't think I could have read this without the awareness of what's been happening to Palestine and the Palestinian people that I've gotten since October. Um, so that's like a really weird emotion to have that like oh I'm, I'm glad I know more but like why do I know more because terrible shit has happened but because terrible shit has happened I'm able to appreciate parts of this book that said uh, I'm not loving it because it did focus a lot on theater and I'm not a theater person so uh, this is off the women's prize list it's only the second book I've made it through off of that list but I'm going to say this is definitely make short list, if not win the whole thing. Um, also, I was able to get from my library Ordinary Human Failings by Megan Nolan. I think this is an Irish book. Yes, I think. Irish family, anyway, maybe set in London. Um, about a child accused of murder. Sounds interesting. And... On the shorter side that was kind of a relief um and then she fell by alicia elliott this might be canadian but also i believe indigenous um i'm gonna stop 
trying to give synopses because I, one, have to be fast and second, I don't remember, but yes, Mohawk Rider. And Night Bloom by Peace Adzo Medi, Medie. This Ganon. Yes, this is a Ganon author. So those are my women's prize currently checked out from the library. I have two more that I didn't go ahead and reserve because I was afraid of them all coming in at once. So they're on a list to reserve later. And then I have like half the list available as audio through Scrib. Um, I want to at least read the first book in this series. This is, um, I forget what this series is called, but The Black Cauldron, the animated Disney film from the 80s, is based off of the second book in this series by Lloyd Alexander, and I thought this would be a good blend of middle grade March and Dewey-thon for the year. I've also read, or... I'm reading the Mabinogion. I made it through like the four branches and now there's like some more folklore in this penguin edition that I have. Um, so I think getting through the four branches now, I'm just going to go ahead and start and then kind of keep dipping in to the rest of the stories in it. But this is a children's series steeped in Welsh mythology, even though the author is, I believe, American. Um, I checked with Heather, Queen of Dewithon, and she said it counts. I also got from the library this book. It's old. It's called Reading the Forested Landscape and Natural History of New England by Tom Wessels. Um, it has in each chapter these uh, etchings, I think they are, of a forest and then like a breakdown of what do we see in this picture and what can we tell about the landscape and the history of this place or um, like the things that have happened in this place based on the trees we see this one was the first chapter I'm only two chapters in it was very interesting because he kind of breaks down we could tell the age of the forest we can tell how it was used, what had happened in it. Was it, um, was there a fire, a natural fire, a controlled fire, all based on the conditions and locations and sizes of the plants. This was recommended by uh, Daniel Mason at the RJ Julia event um i went to his author event and got a copy of northwoods which he signed there it is um this book takes place in the forest or the yeah in the forest of new england and he mentioned um being influenced and really uh taken with this book so found it from the library and it is really interesting I don't read nonfiction well, but like, I love New England now that I live here. Um, so I want to get through those. Those seem nice and springy with the forest waking back up. The other book I want to get to at some point this spring is The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. I got this for Christmas for my kids. So I have a bad habit of giving them a book list for Christmas and they buy me stuff off of it and then it just sits on my shelf so I want to make sure I get to this soon and then lastly I say lastly I'm sure there will be more um this is the complete tales and poems of Edgar Allan Poe I'm going to be going to Baltimore uh, to go to an Orioles game my kids have never been to Orioles Park so we're man April baseball it's like opening week it's going to be freaking cold it's going to be so cold and like right on the water the park the stadium is right on the harbor um so we're staying near there 
I think our hotel is going to be like walking distance to the stadium, walking distance to the harbor, and then I'm pretty sure walking distance to a bookstore. But also, I think Edgar Allan Poe's gravesite is like two blocks from our hotel. So why not throw Edgar Allan Poe into the mix? I think I've only ever read Telltale Heart. Um, obviously, uh, The Raven. And I think in middle school, we had to read Annabelle Lee, and I fell in love with that. Like, so romantic. Because uh, I'm weird and, like, dark. So, even when I was, like, 12. So, I've had this sitting on my shelves. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll pick one short story as like my goal is to read one short story and a handful of poems before we go to Baltimore. Maybe bring it with me. It's big, but we're driving. So I'm not like limited by what I can carry. It fits in the car. Um, I could bring it. And so maybe I'll bring it and try to read there. Those are my plans for not just March. This is this will be a lot for March, but for spring. Um, what are you reading? Well, let me know any thoughts on any of these. Any recent reads you've had, suggestions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.